Karibu tena wachezaji wa Ajiriwa TV na tu swaibu sana Jiliwa. Moja katika insho ambazo zilishika headlines kwa siku ya jana hasa hasa nchini Kenya ilikuwa ni kuhusu mchekeshaji wa nchini Kenya na mzungumzia Elikio Mond ambaye ameanzisha uh, program yake ya, ya Wife Matilio ambayo amechukua baadhi ya watu kutoka nchi mbalimbali kama Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania lakini kwa bahati nzuri ama mbaya ni kwamba kwa hapa Bongo walitoka mabinti watano ambaye alikuwa ni Kaila, uh, Gigimani na wengine kama watatu hivi kwa majina nimewasahau lakini show ile ni kwamba inafanyika mala kwa mala na huu ni msimu wa pili wa show hizo. Lakini watu wameonyesha tofauti zao uh, kwa kuona kwamba Elikomondi anachokifanya kama si sahihi kwa sababu kwa namna moja ama nyingine inavunja sheria ama maadili ya Kiafrika. Kwa sababu uh, tumeona kuna moja ya kati ya video ambazo mwenyewe amezipakia katika account yake ya Instagram Uh, hazikuwa na maudhui mazuri ikiwemo ni ile ambayo yupo yu, uh, kwenye sehemu ya bathroom yani bafuni akiwa na gigimani halafu gigimani akiwa anavuta sigara au kwa katika caption isemayo uh, huyu dada ananiharibu lakini si ile tu alipiga na nyingine ambayo yuko na dada wana kiss so kidogo uh, imeenda viral sana 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 lakini katika taarifa ambazo zimesambaa siku ya jana ni kuhusu uh, kushikiliwa na jeshi la polisi yeye pamoja na watu wale ambao ni washiriki wa kipindi anachokitengeneza ama show anazoziandaza wife Matilio ambao ni kina gigimani na mimi ni mtu mmoja ambaye unaweza kumuelewa lakini kupitia Instagram page ya Elikio Mondi mwenyewe uh, ameweza kuweka video uh, ambayo video hii anaeleza na kupinga kwamba yeye hakutekwa bali alifatwa yani kwamba hajatekwa ama haja kamatwa bali alifatwa ameelezea hivyo kwa kuwa uh, anadai polisi walimshikilia lakini walikuja walijitambulisha kujua kwamba wao ni kina nani na baadaye wakamchukua lakini kwa kuwa uh, ana ukaribu nao alifanya friends zaidi walizidi kuwasiliana katika usafiri waliokuwa wameshikiliwa kwenda nao kwenda kituoni so ilikuwa ni jambo la kawaida sana lakini na kuaminisha watu kwamba hajatekwa ama hajakamatwa na polisi bali Elikomond alichukuliwa tu sasa imechukuliwaje hebu sikiliza hii hapa halafu sahau kusubscribe kwa Jiriwa TV na ito swaibu sana Jiriwa Facebook Twitter na Instagram mche kwa Jiriwa TV hi guys so now that uh, things have come down the heat has gone down <laughs> well let's get on some of the kuna tofauti ya kushikwa na kukujiwa mimi si kushikwa nilikujiwa <laughs> we we <laughs> so i'm seated on the balcony it's uh, just late morning around 11 am mas moto kwa balcony and then the I see from a distance like a kilometer away. You know the wife material house is uh uko Kiambu past banana unaenda uko. And the, the house is iko peke yake. There are no houses around it. So whenever there's an activity around the house, it's very easy to uh to spot it. So I see like focus in kuja mpaka zinaacha vumbi nyuma. I'm like ah Well, I'm not happy. Then I'm like, ah. I get back to the house and then within one and a half minutes. Zimefika kwa compound. Watu wakatoka. Wakaingia kwa nyumba. Kwa jikoni. Shy bedrooms. Papatataka. Chapo. So the good thing that uh, they do is uh, that they they introduce themselves which is very professional i'm so and so from so and so from so from so and so from so from so and so i'm the leader of so and so but the best thing to do guys is always cooperate with the government always cooperate with the police especially if you know that you have nothing to hide hakuna kitu mbaya una ficha ukiomba simu peana Simu 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 simu. Eh. Mimi nikasema sawa. Niko kapeana simu. Na simu ya kila mtu. Nikambia, "Hey guys, hey guys, come out, come out, come." 
Kapeana Masimu. Always cooperate with the police. Always, always. It makes everything easier and better. Hey, this guy! Hey! Where? He said, Nilio Nagatuko move. But you know, I have never, ever been arrested, yeah? So it hit me on that day. Actually, I've never been arrested. I don't know. I've never been. I've never been. I've never been on that side of the law. Uh, I don't know whether it's because my dad was a policeman. My dad was a chief inspector, an OCS in Kisumu. But the first three minutes, ah, me panic in the But then again, as we uh, got into the cars, and then uh, you talk, they are very nice, very professional. Uh, officers, they live at Chekesha from Kiambu Road to Central Police Station. We became friends. Nika wa Chekesha, tuka ongea, lakini wewe hili kisasa. Lakini, hey, tuka, tuka cheka hapo mbaka tuka fika kwa station. But I think always, always just uh, gather and hang out by us as in Guinea. And there was one policeman who told me, Eric, oh, you, you, you really surprised us. You are very, you're extremely cooperative. We didn't even expect that from you. We didn't expect to go to airport and be show me who it is. Who are you? Why are you here? I know my rights. Get out! No, sir, I'm not moving. Don't touch me. <laughs> now, that operation was very short and precise. The moment the officers introduced themselves, and they actually were very kind to show their IDs, I asked them what they wanted. They said they needed the phones, and they needed everyone to come with us. You can ask them. It took us less than five minutes or maybe three. Everyone was out. I called the girls out. They gave their phones. I, I personally arranged everybody uh, into their cars. And off we went. Story time was on. Tapigia Wajuku. Have a lovely Saturday, guys. God bless you. Enjoy.